welcome back to Crash Blade Gaming. I'm your host, Crash. And you know, I felt like continuing on the Rapid Strike theme, so I have another Rapid Strike deck for you. Uh, one that I featured in the past, but I've modified it now so it kind of fits with some cards that lost and some cards that might have gained to make the deck a little bit uh, actually playable, and it, it does really well. I did enjoy it. It does good against VMAXs. It two shots the VMAX for the most part, and you're only giving it away one prize when you do this, and you get three in return. So uh, I like the deck. It's a good deck. You can copy it in the description down below and while you're there. Might as well subscribe to the channel. I give away uh, free stuff if you can answer the question of the day. And let's go ahead and get into that. Okay, let's get into the Pokemon question of the day. And let's go over the last question we had for the last Pokemon video. That question was, this fire type Pokemon is able to produce flames from its wrists. It can also jump extremely high. Who is this Pokemon? Well, if you pay attention to the comments down below, you would see that Najuza, once again, was able to answer the question, which is Blaziken. That was the answer to the last question. Najuza already ahead of the race with one point. Um, other people need to step up. You need to get three correct to receive the free prizes that I give out after you answer these Pokemon questions of the day. Be a subscriber and be the first one to answer. So, let's get into the question for this video. And that question is, this Pokemon is able to learn a lot of battle moves. It does not have an evolution, and it can freely travel underwater or in the air. Who is this Pokemon? Go ahead and leave your answer in the comments down below, and in the next Pokemon video, I will announce the winner and the Pokemon and give another question. Let's go ahead and get into the deck list for this one. We uh, once again are looking back at the Rapid Strike Malamar with Rapid Strike Tentacles. This attack does 4 damage for each card we reveal that is a Rapid Strike card, and then we get to shuffle them into the deck. So let's talk about the changes since the last time I debuted this deck, and there is some, but not many. Uh, the engines behind this guy are going to be Octillery here with the Rapid Strike Surge, and then we have some Senum with the Make Do ability to be able to draw some more cards. And I guess the main additions to this deck are Rescue Carriers. You know, these help a lot with the Pokemon for 90 HP and less. That gets back our Inkes, our Remoraids, Sincinos if we need to. And we can use the Ordinary Rods to get back the Malamars. Um, and then the other nice addition to this is the Battle VIP Pass. So we are hoping that we draw into this on the first turn. That's why we play four copies and it helps us set up substantially quicker in the early game. Now, that's pretty much it. The rest of this deck is really standard, so let's see how it does in the current meta. Hopefully I get some good matches, and uh, let's go ahead and get into some of those matches. Okay, we're going first, and ooh, we're playing Eternatus. That hurts. We do have a Battle VIP pass, which is amazing. So I can tell you that this Inke in the active will get knocked out. So let's go ahead and grab two more, or I guess one more. Another Mencino and Inke sound good to me. Um, I can attach this energy here. I can fog crystal. Thank you for saying I have a good deck. And I think I want to grab one more Inke. And that'll do it. For that turn. Depending on what our opponent does, is depending on what I do. I mean, we're going to power accelerator for sure. And I'm hoping I can take out this Eternatus next turn. Okay, that's all they do. Alright, cool. So we can promote the Inke with the energy. We have a level ball and Karina's focus. So it's a level ball for a Mincino. Or Cincino, sorry. Let's do that. We definitely want to search for the Malamar to guarantee it. And then we can Karina's Focus, and hopefully we draw some cards that we can Cincino away, and hopefully we draw enough cards to be able to take a knockout here. So I can Evo Incense for another Cincino. And then let's see, 40, 60, 80, I mean sorry, 40, 80, 120, 160, let's make do. And make do one more time and hope we hit a rapid strike card here. We did. Level ball gets me a rapid strike card. So this should be it, right? 
80, 160, 200, 240. Let's do it. And we are taking out this Eternatus B and giving us a little bit of advantage here. Nevo Incense and another Sensino. So two cards we can make do away with. Here comes Eternatus B Max. Okay, what do they have here? A research. Hopefully they whiff. I'm, I'm hoping for a whiff here, but you know, odds are against me. Zig the game, sure. Training court is fine. I don't. Uh, well, actually, training court helps me if I had some uh, psychic energy in my discard, but I don't. Yeah, I mean, two two dark guys should have be able to take me out. So these are just wasted zigzagoons. That's okay. They don't really they don't really need it to be honest. So we are going to lose our Malamar. And so this next turn, I am thinking about Evil Land Sensing for Malamar, Artillery for Karina's Focus. And then we battle, we make do away the battle VIP pass and Sensino. That's my train of thought, depending on what we draw. Psychic Energy is great. Psychic Energy, Evil Land Sense for Malamar. Now the question is, do I make do or Karina's focus first? Because I can always make do into a Bruno, but let's guarantee more cards here. Karina's focus. I did go into a Bruno, that's funny. Um, I don't need that Mencino. I'll save it for later. Make do. Get that out of here. Make do. Get that out of here. A rescue carrier seems nice. Rescue carrier gives me two inkes. That puts one down. So let's see here. I have five in my hand. That's all I need currently. I already attached an energy, so I should hold the fog crystal. Cause that actually can get me another ink. I don't need the energy with training court. I should be able to take out the VMAX next turn. Let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five. Boom, I have a Bruno for next turn too, which is even better. So we have hit this Eternus VMAX. Now we just need to do 140. So I just need four Rapid Strike cards. And we're in a good spot, we're in a good spot. Um, Let's see what they do. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have a way to power up another one and retreat. I can see that happening with the Moltres, but I'll be able to knock out the Moltres in return regardless. So the hardest thing for this deck is to take out um, V-Maxes, but we two shot them for the most part. And they have to take out two Melmars. There's a boss's orders. Uh, you take a, sin a, min sin blah 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 blah, a Sincino away from me, fine. Do you know that allows me to just play that? Ordinary Rod. Let's get one of them back in a Malamar. Let's uh, go ahead and use the Fog Crystal. I don't want to draw back into it to get an energy. And we Bruno for seven. And we Great Ball. We get another Inke. And I make do away another Great Ball. Opponent saying well played. I agree. I am taking advantage of you with this. So let's go ahead and put back to three, four. Four is enough to take out your VMAX here. And we are in a very commanding position. They still have to knock out three. I just need to knock out one. And looks like the game froze here a little bit. Oh, because they had to discard. Cards we don't need, cards we can make do away. That's perfectly fine. Um, our opponent's struggling. 
I don't know, we'll be able to take the knockout here, but I most certainly will be able to knock them out back. Oh, they Marnie me. I don't know if I can do it anymore. That was a good Marnie. Not gonna lie. Hmm. I can sense you know. Twice. I had access to Bruno. That's what made this a little bit easier, but now I don't. My opponent says well played, and they concede. They figured I would be able to do it. I thought I would. So we get to go first here, and it looks like we're in a decent spot. Um, I can go ahead and level ball for a Remoraid. We can do that. I am going first. This is nice. I can level ball for a Mincino. I have a Cincino in my hand, which is even better. We go ahead and attach the Spiral Energy to Inke. I don't think that we will be getting knocked out next turn. I can use the Fog Crystal, might as well. Get another Inke down. And I have a Make Do and a Bruno for next turn. So we'll see what happens. And I know that the green screen's a little fuzzy. I'm working on these things, trying to implement this green screen, but it's okay, it looks better. You can still see the background a little bit. Which is nice, I like it. Looks like we're going against a Greninja V Union deck, some version of this Inteleon and Greninja. And I also noticed these V-Star tokens, so it looks like those will be coming out here. Ooh, Adventures Discovery. That's scary, especially if they get all of their... We got two more V Unions in their hand, with Glaceon V as well. Ooh, they're going to have maybe once prized, I hope so. Which is going to be a little bit interesting, we'll see. So they attach the energy to the Inteleon and pass the turn, okay. Karina's Focus is nice. I'd rather play that than the Bruno, so we will go ahead and Karina's Focus. Two Evil Wind Senses are great. That goes for the Octillery. The Octillery can go for the Malamar. Don't need to grab anything else currently. have a Malamar now. <clears throat> Can't knock out the Sobble. Make do away the Bruno, see what we get. I need Rapid Strike cards here. There's two Rapid Strike cards. So I can Fall Crystal for an Energy. And I believe we can go ahead and Rapid Strike Tentacles here. Shuffle these two back in. And we take a knockout on the Sobble. And there's a battle VIP pass, which is why Sincino's in the deck. We can discard these because they're dead cards to us now, which is perfect. All right, so they promote their Inteleon V. Can't attack currently unless they use a Melmi, or they evolve into the V Max Hydro Snipe. 60 damage. So if they have a Melanie, they will for sure be able to do Max Bullet, which is scary. There's their Glaceon VMAX, which doesn't affect us at all. There's a Drizzle that can get the Melanie. Do they have? They don't have a Water Energy in the discard, so Melanie's not an option. Yet. But a Professor's Research is, and that gets that Greninja V Union. Yep. That puts three pieces of that V Union into the discard. Unless they have one in their hand. And there goes the Water Energy. But they can't Melanie right now, so we're in a decent shape to start half hitting this Inteleon. Alright. And we'll see what we draw. I would like to... I would, I would have hoped for my Malamar to get knocked out here. <laughs> so I could use this Bruno, but that's not going to be the case for this turn. Hydro Snipe does 60. That's okay. It only costs me one energy. Actually, that's even better for us. Let's let's use this Fog Crystal here. Grab out a normal Psychic Energy. Use that because I can use the Spiral Energy um, to increase the damage here. Let's go ahead and make do. Get rid of the Battle VIP Pass. More cards. Let's go ahead and use the Evil Incense. 
grab out a Malamar and use the Octillery to grab out an Inke. So let's see, 40, 80, 120, 160, right? And 160, I believe, is half shooting that. So let's go ahead and play the Inke down. And then we will Rapid Strike Tentacles, shuffling back in all of our Rapid Strike cards. The half shot that VMAX. And next turn, uh, we can Ordinary Rod back in the knockout that they're going to take, and then Bruno. So we're in a decent spot. There goes the energy attachment. They have max bullet available now. The only problem is they can knock out an EK. Which is fine. We can still find the energy, the Malamars, with Bruno in our hand. Should be okay. Hopefully they didn't unprize their Greninja V Union. There's a Malamar. Perfect. Let's go ahead and Ordinary Rod, do both. Gonna bring back one of each. And we're gonna bring back two of the energies. And then we can Bruno. Play down that guy, we can level ball. That'll give us a Remoraid, sure. All I need is four, I have four in my hand, so we can quick Great Ball, that gives me an Artillery. That says I can play down the Inke. Um, I can Rapid Strike Search for an Energy because I need it. And that'll go there. And I don't want to make do just now because I want to keep that in my hand. So we'll go ahead and take the knockout here, dealing 160. Oh, there goes a VMAX. You take two prizes, that's fine. I'll take three and you have no energy left. Got a Bruno. Rescue carry was nice. And another Karina's Focus. Now we just gotta knock out the Glaceon or two more solids. And unfortunately I don't play boss in this deck. Let's see, they played Evo Incense. It gives them Inteleon. For shady dealings, okay. So now we're hoping they can't get their Greninja V Union. It sucks that they do bench damage. That max, max Icicle is going to have to hit the Inke down there. A Raihan. Search your deck for up to two cards, discard them, then shuffle your deck. Okay, there's a Raihan. Okay, so this Inteleon will be able to take out my Malamar. Which means I'll be able to Bruno. Which is nice. Okay. So it looks like they don't have the Greninja Reunion yet, which is great. But they will have another chance to pick it out of their prizes, and they are searching hard for it. I don't know if they play Melanie, though. I haven't seen a Melanie. I would assume they do. But that's yet to be seen. Here comes another Shady Dealings. And what will they pick? Boss's orders, okay. Will they be going? Well, they can't use it this turn. They can use it next turn, that's okay. There's the Aqua Bullet, alright. So they take down another Melamar, but that's what we want them to do. Go ahead and use the rescue carrier to bring back a couple EKs. Let's play two of them down. Let's evolve our Mincino. And then we can go ahead and Bruno. A fresh handful of seven cards. We got a Malamar. We got a Fog Crystal that we can go get an energy with. So that we know we can attack. And we can make do away the battle VIP pass. Just a free two cards for us. Uh, let's see, 40, 80, 120, 160, that's enough. So with that being the case, let's grab a Malamar. Because we need one. 
Ah, can't evolve it though. That's okay. Um, let's go ahead and use the Wrath of Strike Tentacles and return those four cards. Take the knockout. And we are just one prize away from winning this game. Cool, so we don't have a supporter, but we do have another Malamar in hand. We do have artillery to get a supporter and rescue carriers. So we'll see what our opponent does. They're in a tough spot. I just need one more knockout. They need three. Um, so here comes a quick shooting artillery, uh, artillery in Pelion. Okay, they pick up an Inke. They put down an Inteleon V, Capacious Bucket, cool. Alright, Snapshot, will that take out an Inke? I hope so. If it does, it just gives me access to more... It does, it gives me access to more damage. Depending on what these Sensinos get me. The top deck of Malamar. So let's go ahead and Rapid Strike Search for Tower of Waters. And then I can make do away the Sensino here. There's a Bruno. Play the Tower of Waters. Retreat into Malamar. If I make do and Rescue Carrier, let's see, that's, that's two. That'll give me three, so that's 120, and I'll do two more. Let's go ahead and Bruno, it gives us a fresh seven. There's a battle VIP pass I can get rid of. And so I'm looking for, I think, two more Rapid Strike cards here. And I think we have it. 40, 80, 120, 160, 200. I think if we just ball out with the Rapid Strikes, we're good. So, I'm just gonna get rid of my whole hand here. And I believe this takes out the Inteleon V for the win. Let's see. Boom, enough damage. Just making sure my math is right. There they go. Victory for us. Well, you just got to see Rapid Strike Malamar in action again with the updates to the deck. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you like it, that's great. And you can see how powerful Malamar still is. I mean, it's not a deck to hold lightly. I'm telling you, Rapid Strike decks are still pretty powerful and they can ruin your day, especially if you're not expecting them. So just keep that in mind, and we'll see you next time on Crash White Gaming.